How to start your own YouTube reaction channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do in order to set up a monetizable YouTube reaction channel like this guy. So this guy is simply filming himself while watching and reacting to TikTok and YouTube videos and he's making money doing that. So you are probably already watching TikTok videos or YouTube videos, so why not make money doing it? So what you can do is simply film yourself react to the videos and then make money from that. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down this format so that you can also get 1.4 million views and make about $3,000 with a video like this. So if that sounds interesting, then keep watching and let's just get started. It's no secret that reaction channels are getting very popular these days. So we've got channels like the Sideman Reacts that are getting up to like 80 million views in just one single month. You can see that last week they had 20 million views, guys. Now, if you multiply that by like a $2 or even $3 RPM, that means they've made about 40 up to 60K in one single week. And we can also see that their views are crazy. 5 million views, 5 million, 4.7 million, 3.6 million, 3.2 million, and this goes on and on. Like, they're getting millions and millions of views. However, you don't have to be the side man, you can also just get started yourself. So this guy, Alexandra Reacts, has 505k subscribers, and this w used to be like a normal guy, like you and I, um, or a girl, like whatever, right? Um, but what I'm trying to say here is that this is just a normal guy who just started reacting to videos. He blew up, he's getting millions of views. So for this, you don't need to be popular already like the Sideman. You can get started yourself right now. So basically, the concept behind this is that you're going to watch videos on TikTok or YouTube, react to it, and then make money doing it. However, it's not that easy. So in this video, I'm going to show you what you need to do in order to make sure that you can actually monetize it and don't get in trouble with copyright. Before that, I do want to mention that if you're new to Automation First, on this channel, we talk about YouTube automation and YouTube cash cow channels. So if you would like to start your own YouTube channel where ultimately you're not going to do any of the work, but you're literally going to outsource the work, the videos, and then manage the channels, subscribe to the channel because we're all about that. So I would really appreciate that. You can also join our free Facebook group. I'll leave a link down below. And with all of that promo, let's just get started and let's just break down the reaction channel format to show you how you can get started yourself. So if we simply click on a few of these videos, you'll see that right there we've got Graham Stefan simply reacting to a YouTube video. Now in this case, it's the house tour from David Dobrik. However, what he's doing, as you guys can see, he's simply watching the videos. You can watch over his shoulder so that you can also see the video. And then he's simply reacting to it. So he's adding his own thoughts. He's pretty much giving his own opinion on the video that he's watching. And that is pretty much what all of these guys are doing. So if we go to the Sideman Reacts, I'll just click on a video. And then we'll also see that they're simply watching videos and then reacting to it. Now there are a few different ways that you can set this up. So we've got the Simon React channel, you can see they've got a different layout. So they pretty much um, recorded a video. Now this could be a YouTube video, it probably is a YouTube video. If I go to the description, you'll see original video. So they're also linking to the OG video. However, they're not watching it on YouTube itself like I'm doing right now, but they pretty much put it in a brand new format or a layout which means that they're simply downloading the video or screen recording it and then putting it into a format like this to make it look more professional and less like reaction-ish. So this is a pretty cool thing. However, you don't need to do that. So we can see Graham Stefan who's simply watching the video and then we also have Alexandra Reacts who's simply watching videos. Now in this case, it's TikTok. However, it could also be YouTube. Now let's get into the rules behind that because you cannot just simply film yourself watch a video and then make money from it. You have to make sure to follow the rules. So I just searched for the fair use policy on YouTube. So if you don't know, fair use is what these channels are using to monetize their content and stay monetized. Because you cannot just simply download a video, put it up on YouTube and make money from it. That would be copyright. However, what they're doing um, in these videos is simply react to it and that falls under the fair use policy on YouTube, which I'll explain right now. So fair use is a US law that allows the reuse of copyright protected material under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner. We created a YouTube audio library. Okay, so that's for audio. However, this also applies to videos. So if I simply search for reacting videos, YouTube copyright policy, you'll see this right there. 
For original content holders, it's better to let people take their videos and share what they thought, so praise, criticism, and so on, than to ban people from making reaction videos. Reaction videos do have copyright protection. The people who made the reaction video are the reaction videos copyright holders. So basically how this works is that there's a law on YouTube which is called fair use and if you watch videos and you use the videos but you simply add your own thoughts to it, now that could be um, humor, um, criticism, parody, that could be reaction, your own thoughts, adding value, any of these things, that means that it will fall under fair use. Now I'll actually show you that right now. Basically the best way to describe this is this. Fair use is a term to describe the use of copyrighted work without direct ownership in a matter that is new or modified. Using the footage from a rival network station without rights is deemed fair use because they have created something new with the alt footage that doesn't affect the original content. And that's exactly what reaction channels are doing. They're making new pieces of content by simply reacting to it. So this guy, for example, is watching TikTok videos. However, he's creating a modified or new piece of content because he's filming himself while doing it. So basically what you need to do in order to make sure that you can monetize your channel is make sure that it looks like an actual personal channel. So when you're going to do it, I highly recommend having a title like this. So for example, name reacts, so Alexandra reacts, and that makes it look very, very personal. So same for Simon reacts and the Graham Stephan show. What these guys are doing is that they're simply reacting to videos using the fair use policy. Now that means that they're going to create a modified or new piece of content. So make sure to add your own thoughts, your own criticism, make sure to turn it into a parody or just anything like that so that it becomes a new modified piece of content. And if you do that, you should be fine. But how do you actually start a channel like this? How do you actually make the video? So all you need is a phone. I'm pretty sure that all of us got a phone. You're probably watching this on your phone as of right now. Simply use the camera and the audio from that. It doesn't need to be fancy. All you need is a phone and this software called OBS Studio. So I'm using this software to record my screen as of right now, and you can do the same. So if you simply go, oops, if you simply go to Google and then search for OBS, you'll end up on this website, OBS Project. If you simply download the software for uh, Windows, Mac, or Linux, you can start recording your screen. What you can then do is simply go to YouTube, film yourself with your phone, film your screen, and that's it. Now all you need is a software to actually edit the video and I'll show you one right now. If you simply search for online free video editor, you'll find all of these results that will help you out create videos. So for example, WeVideo is a great web-based platform where you can create and edit videos. Now I highly recommend this one, however, just do your own research and find out which one is going to be the best for you. It really depends on which kind of laptop or PC you're recording, so make sure to just find out yourself. However, that is pretty much all you need. For the audio, you could also use Audacity, and if you have a microphone, you can simply go to audacity.com, which you can simply do by doing this. So go to Audacity, click on the website, then simply download the software and you can then record your audio doing it. So that is pretty much how you can start a reaction channel. So simply go to a YouTube video, set up your phone, set up your OBS studio, Audacity as well, and then you can get going. Simply watch the videos, react to it, and that's it. So if this video helps you out, make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video. Once again, if you're new to automation first, subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that. Join our free Facebook group. I'll leave a link to it down below and then I'll see you in the next one.